As the rain-soaked grounds of Rawalpindi Stadium were enveloped in a heavy downpour, Pakistan's head coach Jason Gillespie faced a defining moment in his tenure. The second test match against Bangladesh has taken a dramatic turn, with Bangladesh in a commanding position to clinch a historic series win. As the final day's play looms, Gillespie's message is clear, his team must not succumb to defeatism. In his recent press conference, Gillespie did not shy away from the harsh reality that Bangladesh is favored to win. However, he emphasized that walking onto the field with an expectation of loss is tantamount to accepting defeat before the battle has even begun. Reflecting on the match so far, Gillespie acknowledged the significant challenge posed by the visitors, but he remains hopeful that his bowlers can stage a dramatic comeback. The current situation is sobering. Pakistan, trailing by six wickets in the second test, must stage an extraordinary turnaround to avoid a series loss. Bangladesh's performance has been nothing short of exemplary. After a remarkable fight back led by Litton Das and Mahidi Hassan Miraz, Bangladesh not only matched but nearly surpassed Pakistan's first inning score. Their resilience has been evident, with Hassan Mahmood and Nahid Rana delivering exceptional performances on the fourth day, reducing Pakistan to 172 in their second innings. Gillespie pointed out that the Pakistani bowlers need to be more disciplined and strategic. Despite having taken 6 for 26 in the first innings, their approach has been inconsistent. The challenge is to maintain focus and not get lured into searching for wickets in an aggressive manner, which could backfire. He highlighted the importance of understanding and adapting to different phases of the game, especially when the conditions favor the bowlers. The team's decisions have also been under scrutiny. The exclusion of key players like Shaheen Afridi and Naseem Shah, crucial for their pace attack, has been controversial. This decision, coupled with Pakistan's failure to adapt to the seam-friendly pitch, has left them at a disadvantage. Gillespie's horses for courses approach, while grounded in strategic planning, has not always paid off as hoped. Moreover, Pakistan's struggle has been compounded by off-field issues and injuries. Muhammad Ali's absence due to health concerns on the third day was a setback, though his well-being is the priority. Looking ahead, Gillespie remains optimistic about the possibility of a dramatic finish. The weather forecast suggests more rain, which could play a role in the outcome. If the final day's play is possible, Pakistan must embrace a winning mindset. Gillespie's belief is that with the right attitude and a touch of fortune, his team could still turn the tide. This game can create all sorts of drama, he said, and I'm hoping we can put on a show and make a few people smile here in Pakistan. In essence, the final day is set up for a thrilling conclusion. For Pakistan, the road to avoiding a series defeat requires not just skill but an unwavering belief in their ability to overcome adversity. The stage is set, and as the rain continues to fall, the team's resilience and mindset will be tested to their limits. Stay subscribed for more videos.